quick and then we'll put one at the end. Um, again, just trying to trying to get to a front headlock without like jumping on top of this guy or him taking a bad shot. If you don't take bad shots, it's gonna be really tough to get him to a front headlock just by trying to get chin and tricep. Okay, so we've been working a lot this week on, on resetting and kind of pairing the head, moving around. Now we're just adding this club. So I'm gonna reset opposite of my club and get to this position. But as I club, I'm just pulling to this football kind of front head position. Again, we're not staying here. Sometimes even if we get stuck up here, we gotta choke it down and cover it. And then again, we're just extending down to the mat until we can get back to this traditional short offense position. Once we get here, we got quite a few options. Obviously, we got the snap to the elbow, traditional go behind. They're hanging hard on the elbow and we're snapping. Obviously, we got shucks, we can go behind from that position. All right, worked a good bit on this, this knee tap here. I'm trying to twist this position right here, or this tricep right here, but when I go to this knee tap, it's shoulder deep. And I'm not trying to twist and put them on the hip. I can get sucker dragged and just give up a bad angle here. Okay, what I want to do when I beat the shoulder is drive and crunch. Okay, it's not so much a knee tap as it just set this anchor, drive and crunch. Then it's a matter of letting that head fly, getting kind of my baseball slide there when I get to the mat. Okay, so reset club, get to this football front head, choking it down, covering it down to the mat. Knee tap this position. If I do, I'm crunching, crunching, crunching. Chest is staying up so that head can pop out. So we can get to this good baseball slide finish here. Also talked about kind of getting to this underhook. Again, same position. You got to pop and reset and clubbing. I don't want to club and pull them straight in. I always want to pop, get a little bit of an angle here. Get to this position. Even if I got to choke it down and cover. Talk about getting to this underhook. Worst case scenario, if I lose the head, Still in a pretty dominant high position. I got knee taps. I got near side attacks. I got throw bots. Okay, and it's just a matter of my timing based off this guy's reaction. So I pop, club, football for a head, and grab my elbows all I want. I keep choking it down, getting to this underhook. I'm still trying to squeeze here and get them down to the mat, but they start fighting that head up. The minute the head pops out, I'm looking for attacks. Okay. I'm just moving to the next best option. Lost the head, still have a dominant tie, okay? Now, I wanna talk real quick, and we touched on it a little bit towards the end of high school season a couple weeks ago, and some guys have a ton of success with it. You see Mark Hall getting it a pretty good bit, just getting that mixer. A lot of times once I snap that guy down, chin, underhook, they're not thinking about going to their back. They're thinking about peeling hands, getting one knee up, all right, by then we're already off to the races. So again, pop circle, football front head. I'm choking it down, get to that underhook. And nothing's different, side step, snap. All right, now all I'm thinking about doing is driving the butt cheek, just like we did on the knee tap, but I'm not knee tapping. I'm staying tight on the chin right here. You can set it up a couple ways. You can try to put the jacket on right here, get into this cow catcher, get them to fight back down, but it's a tough transition, all right? To me, when I get here, I'll give a little bit of a shoulder raise, and then I'm driving this position. Once I drive to this position, big step up, trying to put my forehead behind their butt, right into my mixer, okay? And the quicker you hit it, the better, all right? So I pop up, short, short offense right here, football front head. Slip this top hand off, get to my other hook, snap it down, driving right into my mixer. Right here, once I get to this position, I'm walking up, nice and easy, elbows pinch, setting them down pretty nice. Any questions? So just go back through all those transitions, finish up with your mixer. Any questions on that mixer? Good? All right, let's get it go.